respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. Out of the gun is Minshew. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackle to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Jeff Swain, 38 yards. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Lambeau on for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. A drive there of just four plays. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Here's Jackson on third and long. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And all the way down to the 35. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And shutting him off, now open field. Touchdown, Jaguars! Leonard Fournette. 
67 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Lambeau to add on the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Jackson. And an alley to run. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The Ravens on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Jackson from the shotgun. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, he dumps it down to Ingram. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. To throw again on second down, Jackson. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays... And it's a fumble, and the Jags grab it. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. The 40, past the 20, and that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. How about that for a momentum swing? You had it goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Looked like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers them on the scoreboard. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown.
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, he's going to find his tight end, Boyle. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. This will be fielded at the 17. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And he's loose again. And he's finally out of bounds, but he's taken it all the way down to the eight. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And this offense, they've got it set up on the silver platter. First and goal inside the 10. Now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got playing to catch. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Flushed out right. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football, but when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. The Jags will keep the offense out there as they'll decide to go for two. They will run it. It's Fournette. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. Oh boy, rubbing a little salt in the wound there going for two up this big. You know, there's one time when I played, Brandon, and played against a team that was just absolutely pile driving us. And they ended up going for two late in the game. And I asked one of the guys, why'd you do that? He said, because we wanted to win by more. That feels like that type of situation. Wow. Well, it could also result in a melee later, though. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different